Slop City Podcast! Oh, that's beautiful! What'd you say, bitch? Huh? Huh? <laughs> Are we going? Here is the most upsetting part about right now is that we just ate a ton of Thai food. It was it worth it? Yeah. Yeah. I'm really full right yeah. now though. And we have this um Yeah. How do you say? How do you say a horrible computer looks ugly as fuck? Right to our left that's showing our uh, faces in the camera. And we both look like oiled out lot lizards. We look like lot lizards, straight up. And you might say, well, that's because you're on day three of dirty hair, Libby. And I'm Mm -hmm. here to tell you that's probably contributing. You might say something like, well, maybe it's because you just ate two full portions of green curry (laughs) and five pot stickers. Yeah. <laughs> and you're on your third day of recording the podcast in a row. Well, look at that monitor over there. We we don't look as greasy. No, I did I did catch a peek in there. It makes me feel a little bit It better. does make me feel better. I did look over at that one. I'm like, all right, I, I, we're good. Like, I'm an uggo, but I'm not, like, fully. I'm not full-on irreversible <laughs> uggo. I just need a good, good hair washing. That lady in your vlog thinks you're ugly, though. <laughs> oh, that was a mean it comment. It was so mean. Like I'll I just, read it to the to the listeners. I don't even know how you could write so how you could just say something like that to someone. Like, does she tell people in the line at Starbucks, like, "Hey, you know, uh, you're uh, ugly as fuck." <laughs> and I quote, "I feel like I like watching these vlogs because it shows being unattractive is okay, and they are all still loving life and living their best lives. They are all." D- they, that's a person that's like grouping every unattractive person into this whole little sect. They're like, well, you know, I mean, it's just when, when you're ugly, you're ugly. You just don't have it. And it came from a woman. <laughs> like, what the fuck, bro? We're supposed to be having each other's backs. Clearly, clearly jealous that I can be both. Extremely attractive. And extremely... Um, vibrant. Vibrant. Voluptuous. Despite being a larger woman, uh, I'm out here doing high kicks at motherfuckers' faces. And that just... Ah! Sorry. What happened? Your fingy? It bent backwards and it hurt really bad. Oh, your fingernail? Yeah. That's fine. I'll stay close to the mic, Randy. Even though I got hurt, I'll stay close to the mic. Well, stay close to the freaking mic, Randy. Oh, I'm not, I don't even have my headphones in. I can't hear the sound effects. Yeah, you didn't even hear the yeah. You didn't even hear the... You need to bite it off. Yeah. I can't. It's too close. If I bite it off, I'll bite half my finger off. You'll bite your uh, live nail? That's what they call it, live nail. Well, my live nail is very fragile because I've had these gorgeous acrylic nails on there for weeks. <laughs> I had to get him taken off for a, a movie. I'm doing a, a movie called Baby Oopsie Part 3 or 4. I'm not sure. Uh, <clears throat> but, you know, I'm, I'm a... I'm tired of this. You, initi- you initiate it. Fuck, dude. That straight felt like we were about to do a dance-off. We just did. We looked at <laughs> each other. Oh, boy. I'm putting on chapstick. Ain't Carmex. nothing wrong with that. Even though it's Carmex, I'm going to call it chapstick. Cause... Oh, that looks like a really nice Carmex. Hand that baby over to me. It's it's in a thing that looks like the baby lips. You know, the Maybelline baby lips yeah. that the crowd is really just surging for. <laughs> they are? Mm, I don't know. It's popular. Watermelon blast. Watermelon sugar. Hi. <laughs> Man. Watermelon sugar. People. Hi. Lip balm with colloidal oatmeal. Every time I see the colloidal oatmeal, I'm always like, hmm. What's that mean? I love a good oatmeal with some brown sugar in it. Oh, yeah. And some half a pound of butter. Yeah, a lot of butter. I love a a cream of wheat. Oh, I could eat a cream of wheat. Give me a cream of wheat, and I'm creaming in my (laughs) wheats. wheats. You put a pat of butter on the top of that hot cream of wheat, and it makes us indention in a circle. Yep. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. 
the grittiness of it. Like, I just love a gritty. <sighs> there's a first watch, the breakfast place. You ever been there? Yeah. Their pancakes are out of this world, bro. Bigger than your tit. Whoa. Literally, it's a solid pancake like that big. And I ain't fucking around. So you like just order one pancake or whatever. Let's just look at their menu. Pictures of the devil. (laughs) What did I say? Cool pictures of the devil. (laughs) You Googled pictures of the devil. I mean, so here, this is what I'm talking about. I, You know me. I like, you're not going to like this. Is that porn? Uh, no, no, it's not. It's this lady's uh, training website, like oh, okay. a lady in St. Louis. I think I'm going to get a trainer for the next two months. Oh, that'll be real fun. Just to whip my ass into shape so I have consistency and accountability. And like I said, bro, I don't want this Jefferson County, but I told Rafe, we were talking about it today before I got here. I'm like, I don't give a fuck that I'm fat. I literally don't care. I give a fuck that my proportions are so (laughs) fucked up. They're just not, maybe they're pleasing to some guy in Jefferson County. (laughs) A guy that frequents Six Flags. A guy that, a guy that has a Six 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 Flags season's pass. Okay? Man, if I could fit on a ride, I'd have a season's pass every summer and be oh it's so fun i'd get me a scooter and go from ride to ride six flags people (laughs) they're hiring oh great let's see those are the fun kind of people you want to see at six flags sure yeah young young teens walking around oh yeah they're all they're like all thin when i go to six flags i'm like oh god Get me near that fan that sprays water. I'm sweating. It's so hot. The blacktop's making it so hot. Yeah, like your own tennis shoes melt (laughs) while you're there for the day. Well, these are some really cool, nice photos of Six Flags. But yeah, I think I'm going to get a trainer. Because it's like right about two months until we go on the road. And I'm like, I think I can, if I go hard for the next two months, maybe I can grow butt. Oh. Because I'm looking to get grow this butt. She wants to grow that butt. And, you know, I I got to try it myself without getting cut into and put little implants in there. Because <laughs> I can grow it. Can't grow your titties. You want bigger titties? You know what you're doing? Uh, Think you're doing chest presses at the gym? Ain't working. What about when you do this? This is what we did when we were teens. To try to make your tits bigger? Yes. Oh, that's just praying. But you got to push your <laughs> hands together. Oh, no, no. You're just praying. <laughs> I guess we're, I forgot the prayer part. Um, no, I don't think any of that works. Well, it did. Look at my tits. <laughs> it clearly worked really well for you. Libby did that five day, five times a day, man. Wake up in the morning, halfway through the day, <laughs> just pushed her little palms together. At and, school. Like she was in a prayer stance and just, yeah, I could see how that might work. It worked. First watch. Ooh. They changed the menu, and that's okay. Trailblazer they're, bowl. They're just trying to make themselves look cool. All right. Let's look at their... I just want you to see some of these pancakes, because it is out of this world. Like, they are really intense pancakes. Jump to a category. I already hate that sandwich because... There's an avocado on it. Yep. Fuck that avocado. Get Uh, it away from me. From the griddle. Is that where the pancakes are going to be? Okay, so, I mean, look at this. A multi-grain pancake. Lemon ricotta pancake. These aren't even all the ones they have, dude. They got carrot cake ones. They got... Holy shit. Oh, yeah, look at all that breakfast. I know you're... See, see, to me, I see an avocado, and I'm like, that's fresh. That's a fresh food. I see one, I'm like, get it out of here, posers. I feel like you see an avocado and you just, it's like, it doesn't do the same thing to you as it does to me. I feel like it's back in the, in the sixties and seventies when parents were like, oh, you long haired hippies like that music. That's how I feel about avocados. I feel like it's just trendy to like them. Oh, (laughs) dude, (laughs) you just tried to fucking roast me in front of all of my... In front of all of my peers, all of our fans, 
saying I'm just liking an avocado because it's trendy? I didn't say you. I said these restaurants. That's what They just slap an avocado on everything. Next thing you know, they're having a little nice meal that's not even calling for an avocado, (laughs) and they're putting an avocado on there. I'll go in these restaurants and look at their menu, and the second I see an avocado, I close that menu and say, take me to Burger King. (laughs) Where I know what's on the sandwich. Where Didn't we go to a fast food restaurant one time? And I was like, awesome. Can you add an avocado on that burger? And they were like. It was Sonic, probably. We don't have avocados. (laughs) Get the fuck out of here. If it requires to keep fresh, we don't have it. It, Do you like uh, guacamole? Yeah. Barely. Oh, barely. Barely. You just don't like it? The texture, all of it? It's just too well, you're dating an exotic guy, or you're fucking an exotic guy. Yeah. Does he and? eat guacamole? <clears throat> yeah. Out of your ass? <laughs> nope. Out of a bowl. Out of a He's bowl. He's made some. It was pretty good. Does I'm he just... keep the pits in it when he makes it? I have no idea, and I watch him make it. Well, I mean, it's just... Oh, you... it ain't sitting in the bowl. When you go in to dip your chip or something there like that. There, there ain't one of them things in there. No. He's a, he's a good cook. Yeah, he sounds like it. I've seen some photos of meat he's made. Good stuff. Yeah, he seems like a big meat boy. He loves the meat. Loves a big He steak. loves a good taco. He loves a good, uh, he loves cilantro. Oh, which yeah. Which I love. I love cilantro. Put it in anything, I'll eat it. Yep. I cannot imagine a world where cilantro tastes like soap to me. I can't either, but it exists. I know. What about you, Randy? You like cilantro or it tastes like soap? I love them shits. <laughs> I don't even know what they is, but I love them. I love a good taco because they're just easy to make. It's a simple, it's a meal that could be, you know, eaten leftovers for a few days. You just make up a fuck ton of meat, whatever kind of meat right. you're thinking about. So do you make a white people taco or an authentic Mexican taco? What's a fucking white people taco? A corn, corn shell. Ground beef, cheese, lettuce, sour cream. I do, when I make tacos, I will either do turkey, beef, steak, chicken. It's just kind of whatever meat I have at my disposal. In your freezer? Yeah. Whatever meats. I'm I'm doing really good right now, though, because I'm, I'm whittling down my freezer. We'll Ooh. get into that in a moment. But. Wow. I, so I'll do whatever meat is at my disposal, and then I will do, uh, so the sides I'll have is generally cilantro, not mm. sides, the things that I, toppings. The accoutrementes. That's what they're called? No, I just made that word up. Honestly, sounded very <laughs> legit. <laughs> to the point that if I'm in a restaurant, then I would say, so what kind of accoutrementes do you have? <laughs> <laughs> they better fucking believe me. They better bring out a bunch of accoutrementos. If I don't see one accoutremento, I'm out. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, yeah, so I'm just trying to understand. On this chicken spadini, what accoutrementre, not, not accoutrementres do you serve as we an don't option? Have any, and then the, you flip the table. <laughs> I flip the table. I take the menu and I slam it shut. <laughs> and I go to Burger King. And you say, take me to Burger King. Um, so these are in my toppings that I'll do cilantro. If I have it, I'm going to just give you my ideal taco topping station, cilantro, avocados, oh, tomatoes, Count me out. sour cream, good cheese, yeah, black beans. Oh no. Corn. Uh uh-uh. uh. Jalapenos. Nope. What the fuck? What's and lettuce, obviously. I have a feeling when you get a taco, you just have a a flour tortilla, beef, sour cream, and that's it. Maybe a little cheese. Cheese. Because you're a plain Jane. That's just generally Meat. how you are. Cheese, sour cream, lettuce. <laughs> if it's a good tomato, I'll put a good tomato on there. And that's it. Yeah. No, che- you do the cheese, okay? If I'm getting it from an authentic food truck, I'm getting... The meat and the cilantro, because that's generally all that comes on it. Yeah, when it's street tacos. Yeah. Usually just whatever little meat, onions, and cilantro. Mm-hmm. What do you think about al pastor? Marinated pork with pineapple. That's my shit. Love it. That's my, when I go to an authentic Mexican place, that's it. 
That's there, what I want. There's a really good food truck in Denver, and I get an El Pastor uh, burrito. And it's got the queso, queso chihuahua in it, which is the white cheese. The queso fresco stuff. Oh. Yep. Love that. It makes me feel like when I eat it, I just, I don't know. It's very aesthetically pleasing. The way the plate looks, you know what I mean? Where it has those little baby chunks of the queso fresco on there and the cilantro and the onions. I see that and I'm just like, take me to church. (laughs) (laughs) And then there's this, uh, God, what is this little soup they have? This broth. It's so fucking good. Pozole? Uh, no. I had to go up and ask for it one time. It didn't say it right. and felt embarrassed. And she kept saying, what? And I was like, <laughs> that's like me, the steeple thing. At me and I'm like, you walk up, you're like, I know the sound guy. And I just, <laughs> I'll take whatever sauce you have. But then dipping the burrito in that broth. Ooh. Mm. My favorite's the La Vallesana place in St. Louis. Favorite Mexican place. They have this green sauce. That'll fucking rock your world, bro. Is it hot? It is, but it's not. Yeah, I don't want it. I know you don't, but I want others to know about it if they ever come and visit our great country. (laughs) This little country area. Well. I'm getting hot. Damn. I'm getting real toasty. It's because I ate all that curry so fast. It's moving through my body. Those spices are moving through me like niacin before a drug (laughs) test. Wait, what? It's like these pills that you take that like flush your system before you take a drug test. Niacin? Done that a lot. Oh, yeah. It get, it makes your, there's like flush-free kind and then not flush-free. One of them will make you totally red because your body's pumping. Niacin. Are you looking it up for a friend? I'm looking it up because it sounds like something that I had to take after surgery. Niacin. Niacin. N-I-A-C-I-N. That's not what I'm thinking of. I was thinking of the other one that. Randy, you ever done that? No. Guess I'm the only rebel in this country. (laughs) Okay. uh, After I took that uh, acetaminophen and uh, Percocet last night, I might as well go to the rehab facility. Yeah. Yeah. Libby's a freaking pill head now. I took one pill last night and (laughs) it really fucked my world up. Rocked your world. I love that you were feeling like, so walk us through. Did you, were you spooked a little bit when you went to take it? Cause you were in a lot of pain. And for those of you that are like, uh oh, they're soliciting drugs and pre- <laughs> procuring drugs, illicit drugs off of the street. Nope. This was formally prescribed to her. And once something's prescribed to you, it's yours forever. And, and it, that goes for your dog stuff. And, and you might say, uh, well, that, that's not why you were prescribed it. My leg was hurting, and I I don't know if I got it for my surgery or a tooth thing. I don't remember. Regardless, I opened it up and took it, and I thought, this is going to give me some relief. And it did for about a good hour, and I was feeling, woo Eyes crossed a little bit. Eyes crossed. Well, I got a text from you. It was like, hey, I'm going to make the clip. And I was like, well, she is just being. That was pre That was pre-drug Drug addiction. When I sent it to you, I was like, I hope she finds any errors that are in there because I can't see straight. (laughs) So after about an hour, I was editing a clip for Slop and uh, started going like this. (laughs) Gagging. (laughs) Like up chucking. Up chuck. Oh, God, what a good word. Up chucking. Did you up chuck? And uh, went to the bathroom and puked up every little bit of the three Cokes that I probably had drinking in the last hour. (laughs) And uh, went and laid down and sent Tina the, the video and was in my bed going, whoa. <laughs> had my space lights on, had to turn them off. It was too space. Well, because you were, you were. <laughs> I was in space already. <laughs> yeah, you were an epilepsy fall risk at Ooh. that point. Got yeah, you so good. Went, and then I thought, God, what if I stop breathing? I'm, I'm just not good at taking drugs. No, you're not. And, but you know. It was good, though. I didn't feel my legs for a while. That's good. Did it feel the exact same today when you woke up? Like shitty or feel a little better? It is it is feeling better. I can tell that it's uh, getting better. But I'm still walking around uh, hobbling. And I uh, 
what was the word I was going to say? Illicit drugs. Illicit drugs. Um, <laughs> Hobbling. Still swollen. not 100. Yeah. That's how my ankle feels right now. And I twist, I sprained that because I'm going to, I didn't go to a doctor, but I'm going to go ahead and diagnose myself. With a sprain. Okay. Because I've done it so many times. I know what's going on. And a lot of bruising. So that tells you right there, something's fucked. There's, if there's bruising involved, which is very, very common for me. Same. You're looking at some sort of sprain. What at Rafe one time, like jokingly, like flicked me or something. And I was like, oh, great. It's going to bruise. I mean, I'll like run into a chair at, you know, one mile per hour <laughs> and I'm done. I'm like, cool, cool, cool. Yep. And then the people at the emergency room say, do you feel safe at home? Do and I'm feel like, like murdering. Do you feel like hurting anyone else or yourself? And I'm like, yeah. Duh. All the time. Check me in, bitch. <laughs> They're like, oh, God, you know, we're actually going to have to check you in. I'm like, great. That's why I said yes to all this. <laughs> I say yes. And then I go, psych. Here for the socks, bitch. And they're like, put them together. Mm-hmm. I haven't been, I went to the emergency room when we were in Oregon and that was it. I haven't been there in a while. Man, it's an expensive trip for nothing. I didn't Did, get to lay in a bed. I had to sit in a recliner. A whole time? Yeah, which was good. I got to prop my leg up, but Jesus Lord. You get in there, you're like, uh, while I'm here, y'all got a massage chair in the teacher's <laughs> lounge or anything? <laughs> teacher's lounge. Because I could really use a nice massage chair. <laughs> When they were taking my blood, which I've already talked about, the doctor came peeking around, looking in my curtain. I go, sir, just cut my fucking arm off and get the blood that way. <laughs> He's like, that's too much paperwork. That's too much paperwork. He's like, listen, if we amputate your arm, we got to call your family. Let them know we did it. Then Fox 2 News might reach out to us saying, why'd you cut this fucking woman's arm off just to get blood? And then we'll It would be to- easy if they just slashed me. Oh. And then take the little thing and go. I don't know if that's the same because the blood that they get. Stop. Yeah. No it, point. It just looks different to me than like when I cut myself shaving or something. Well, it's all blood. So it's all blood to me. I'd be like, look, I've got this giant wound here. Can't you just siphon some of it out of that? What if you showed up with like fake blood from baby oopsie at <laughs> next time you have to get blood drawn? And you're like, uh, so <laughs> you just say, can you just give it's me that little pack? Give me that little container, that container with a really fun Color, color at the top. They, they do. They have fun colors on Just top the of them. Green and black, red and black. Oh, they got some purple r- and black. Some really cool ones. It's like different. They look like they're like, what's it called? Silicone. Oh my God. Look at Kitty. Where is he? He's hiding under the guitars. Kitty. Kitty just doesn't like us anymore. It's so sad. Well, those aren't as cute as the ones I saw. These are not as cute. But do you know what I'm talking about? They'll have these little... They're like chicks. Oh, God. Such cute colors. It looks like the kind of colors that they would have on a Life is Good bracelet. Yeah. Like when things were really good. You know, when life was good. Type in multicolored. Maybe we can pull up a multi... I just typed in blood holder. Blood collection. Okay. Like it. Blood collection tube. Multi colored <laughs> blood collection tube. Oh, those looked fun. Hold on a second. I've, I'm not seeing any of the cool ones. I'm not seeing one single of the cool ones that we have I've seen in my lifetime. If you're a phlebotomist, please yeah. sound off in the comments and tell us how to find these multi colored. Because all we're, we see multicolored, but it's not the swirl, like a tie-dye swirl that I'm used to. Because the tie-dye swirl one, that is where things are really pumping. Those must be special blood tests then, because they're probably colored at the top for, this is for HIV, this is for gonorrhea. I think gonorrhea, they can test from your pussy hole. Well, they tested me. I got tested not too long ago. Got tested for gonorrhea, chlamydia, HIV, and uh, I'm good to go. So if anybody wants to fuck, raw dog it. 
Let's do it. Dude, I stay raw dogging. <laughs> I swear to God. You have one partner. I know, but Me I too, mean, but I've always been a raw dogger. <laughs> That's why I had chlamydia. That's why, I mean. That's I, cute. Look at my cool new beanie. That's cute. I can't remember who gave it to me, but I am going to look it up and sound off in the comments later. But whoever got me this Chiefs colored beanie, I am. I think it's Jolene. I think that's her name. Jolene, Jolene, Jolene. Jolene, Jolene. She's the gal that got me the I Love the Outdoors hat or the I Love the Outdoors cup. Such thoughtful gifts people give this us. Is, and these are Kansas City Chiefs colors. That I'm wearing right now, red, white, yellow, just for those of you that are very curious about how my tie-dye colors correlate to my mood or things that are important to me. Well, where is the, uh, where is the necklace that someone sent me? Is it Ariel? Yes. And I actually do have that. Are we, we going to show it or something? Uh, sure. I was just thinking about it. I actually did bring it. I've been wanting to wear it. I am loving this hat. Tina the way it me. feels. What? Tina FaceTimed me and showed me this gift that Ariel sent me. Who has sent us things before. Like the cigarette that said, if she smokes, she fucks. And this says, meaty. Is it Ariel? Oh, it's Ariel. Yeah. Meaty. Because I'm a meaty gal. I got a meaty ass. Oh, that's your thing, dude. You're an ass man's ass woman ass person's dream, brother. That's who you are. That's what you are. That's and how no I, one can stop you. Look at how cute this is. I it's sparkly. Sparkly says I'm meaty. Put it on. Yep. Oh, that thing's sick as fuck. She gave you a nice long chain too, so you can wear it when you're doing two strap shoddy <laughs> raps. When you battle rap Reggie. I'm wearing the you're two straps. wearing the two straps and the meaty chain, <laughs> and then you're swinging on that motherfucker. I'm sick as are these mine? Yeah, those are yours. Oh, it says Libby and these. Those are mine too. Yeah, look at those, oh baby. Oh my god, I have an outfit I'm going to wear these with. For real, Velvet Gypsy uh, is a longtime OG fan of Slop City. I believe her husband's name is Josh, if I'm not mistaken. They're lovely people. Um, but. It says DM me. Yep. Because that's how I get my men. Velvet Gypsy on Etsy. She has an Etsy shop and she is fucking amazing, dude. She's the one who made my If She Smokes, She Fucks necklace. And she's rad. She made I me mean, some. She made me a special request. I wanted a donut. She made me a donut. Yep. She made me uh, egg earrings. She made me the titty earrings, which I need to get a new pair of. Yeah, I do need. I think I still have my titty earrings. And the titty earrings, she can make them in any color. So let's say your titties are very white and veiny like mine. Yep. And they, they almost, yeah, say you've had a bout of leukemia and <laughs> your, your tits are discolored. <laughs> say you want a... About. <laughs> Say you want to get some titty earrings for your tits that represent what they look like in the winter and then what they look like in the summer. So you could actually get different skin tones, you know. Oh, my God. Those earrings are fabulous. So, yeah, follow Velvet Gypsy. Go to her Etsy store. It's V-E-L-V-E-T-G-Y-P-S-I. And, uh, dude, she's the fucking best. You just... That getting the if she smokes, she fucks necklace was truly one of the highlights of my life. It shows that people listen. Well, and I've never felt like, oh, I'm wearing something that accurately represents me. This is who I am. You guys, this is if me. you've ever sent us a gift, thank you. Yeah, for Sometimes real. Sometimes shit gets lost in the shuffle and we don't thank people, but damn, y'all are nice and send nice stuff. I mean, I've gotten, this is like the second cool hat I've gotten from people. We've gotten so many cool little gifts and it's, it's crazy. Someone commented the other day on our YouTube and was like, man, I wish this fucking podcast would just blow the fuck up. But I also feel like I'm in on something really special right now. Aww. And like that it's like a little secret for all the slop citizens. And I was like, that's fucking tight. I like that. But also like I want to, you know. Um, Meaty. take over the world. 
meaty. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's so great and funny. Yeah, it's perfect for you. I can't wait to see you wear that shit on stage. Hell yeah, brother. Because wearing a sick-ass powerful necklace on stage or like a sick-ass item of clothing when you're on stage, dude, it just does something for you. I got on stage one time wearing my If She Smokes, She Fucks necklace, and I heard somebody in the audience say to their friend, like they were like eight rows back, and they were like, oh my God, she has a cigarette necklace. <laughs> and I was like, yep, that's what I'm talking about. Sure do. Sure do. What's it to you? <laughs> huh? <laughs> Damn, Daddy. Support for Slop City Podcast is brought to you by Manscaped, who is the best in below-the-waist grooming and hygiene. Manscaped offers precision-engineered tools for your family jewels. Ooh. Ah. Uh, Manscaped just launched their fourth-generation trimmer, the Lawnmower 4.0. You heard that right. The 4.0. Join over 4 million people worldwide who trust Manscaped. With this exclusive offer for you, you get 20% off and free worldwide shipping with the code RANCH. RANCH. RANCH! RANCH! (laughs) With the code (laughs) RANCH. With our code RANCH at manscaped.com. Oh, my headphone. Uh Uh-oh. If you're looking to purchase... Whoa. (laughs) If you're looking to purchase the perfect gift for your person Mm. that they will actually use, Manscaped is my (laughs) go-to. Goodbye, Harry. Hello, clean. Yum, yum, yum. Manscaped engineered the ultimate groin and body trimmer by focusing on intelligent functionality and an incredibly comfortable grooming experience. All right. You hear that? incredibly comfortable grooming experience. Their fourth generation trimmer features a cutting edge ceramic blade to reduce grooming accidents thanks to their advanced skin safe technology. Guess who feels confident about shaving? This gal right here. This bush is looking more and more like not a large bush every time (laughs) I use the lawnmower 4.0. Daddy. Okay, go to manscaped.com and use our code RANCH. Ranch! Lawnmower 4.0 trimmer helps reduce the risk of nicks. Can you can you say that one more time? It helps reduce the risk of grooming accidents. Boom, baby. Do you want to cut your labia? No. Do you, you want to cut, cut your, your vulva? vulva? No. Do you want to, do you want to, do you want to have any, do you want to do any of that? No. no. You want to have a smooth, nice and cool, smooth, criminal looking ass experience with shaving, trimming, taking care of that little area down in between your legs. Okay. You don't want to be farting around using. <laughs> you want to be using the lawnmower 4.0, dude, so you can get that shit tight and get it right. Okay. And you could do it with our exclusive offer for Manscaped of 20% off and free worldwide shipping with our code RANCH. Go to manscaped.com and put our code in RANCH. RANCH. Thanks. I feel oh, fancy yeah. with my new earrings on, my new necklace. Oh, yeah. You're looking meaty as fuck, brother. Um, you know, I told somebody to DM me when I was in San Diego. and uh, About what? You know what? <laughs> he was, like, flirting with me, and he was really cute. And uh, he kept hugging me, and I was like, send me a DM. You were like, why don't you hold on a little tighter and grab my ass cheeks? And, and then we'll feel brighter. <laughs> But for once, I was like, yeah, just DM me. And um, it was the first time you really said it in real life. Yeah. And meant it. You meant it in the nasty way that people are like, oh, my God. And then he DM'd me. Yeah. You were like, I meant it in the let's hook up. And then he goes back outside and comes back in and goes, were you serious about the DM thing? And I was like, yeah. Yeah. And then he like hugged me again. Electricity with us. 
Then he hugged me again and I uh, haven't heard from him. So, uh, sir, if you're out there from San Diego. Hot it, as fuck. I don't remember your name, but. No. You were obviously digging this and I was digging that. <gasps> I cannot believe that there's all this footage of you for like probably almost two years on this podcast saying you just looked so worried. Like I was about to I know, say I something. Like, what did so I, I knew. I better put my glasses on for th- this, dude. Did she? Her face immediately started getting <laughs> red, like, and she looked what? scared. You were like, "What did I do?" What oh, I me done? talking about how I don't like fucking. How you don't want to fuck at all, dude. You, it's crazy, and all how it- you would be so snotty with me when I'm like, "Yeah, you're gonna fuck again," and you're like, "No, no I'm I not." Won't. No, Tina, I won't. And why don't you back the fuck up out of my space and now fucking tell me what to do and and act like you know who I am. And I'm always like, all right, dude. I like see I wouldn't roll my eyes at you, but I would roll my eyes at you in my head internally rolling my eyes. at you. Well, this is the one lesson that all that's taught me is to never say never. Uh huh. And anytime I think I'll never do that, I I just stop myself and I go, you don't know what you're going to do. You're a sex fiend. You weren't a little while ago. You're a sex goddess. Now you I mean, can't get enough dick inside of you. No. I mean, I really think that if you're just so hungry for some dick, you should really just go to a truck stop sometime. Because there are... I'm not that fucking hungry, okay? <laughs> I'm not a lot lizard. Well, they have really nice... Cabs. Cabs. <laughs> Rafe and I <laughs> were driving back from Nashville the other night after we did Zanies and... Went to a show, hung out there for a few days. I got to hang out with Daniels, too. Officer Daniels. OD. OD. So we were driving back, and <laughs> we stop at this gas station, and Rafe's in the bathroom. I'm running to the bathroom. We're both in there at the same time. And I hear Rafe chatting it up in the bathroom. And I'm like, walk. when we walk out, I go, who the fuck are you talking to in there? I go, it's fucking, it's two in the morning, <laughs> three in the morning right now. The fuck are you chatting it up with in the bathroom? And he's like laughing. He's like, dude, this guy walked up to me in there and he goes, hey, man. Is that your. Is that your. Is that uh, your Peter build out there? Is that your uh, truck out there? The one with the shower and the living room. It's really nice. You know, and Rafe's like, no, man. <laughs> not shower mine. in the living room? Yeah, dude. It was like a really, really fancy truck and like the wow. cab and everything. The guy was very impressed. I mean, he was like, you sure that's not yours? And As was, they're pissing? Yes. So Rafe, old, you know, Rafe sitting there chatting it up. And this dude, he's like an old black trucker. And he's fucking, the best part was about two minutes later, we're all in Wendy's. And that same guy is walking around to all the other truckers <laughs> going, hey, is it? Is that your kind of? Is that your truck out there? Because everybody's and all the guys start gabbing about it. All the truckers are like, "Man, that thing's really nice." And they're like, "Not mine, not mine." You should have said, "It's mine, fellas." <laughs> Rafe, the guy in the bathroom, told him though. He goes, "I don't know. It just looks like it might be your truck." And I was like, "Rafe, how's it feel? You look like a fucking trucker, dude." <laughs> Rafe just looks like a good old American working hard man. He really does, but also Bosnian. Like, Srećna Nova Godina. Yes. That means Happy New Year. Yes. Bosnian. Oh. Oh. In Russian. Srećna Nova Bebe means Happy New Baby. In Russia, in Russian, Snovum Godum is oh, Happy New Year. Oh, who would ever say that? Snovum Godum. Snovum Godum. You can go them where you take them. Snovum Godum. Oh, kitty, how come you don't yell us anymore? Kitty gave me a drive by rubber the other day. Rubber? Yeah, rubbed me. Rubbed my leg. Whoa. Whoa. Gave me a drive-by rub down. Pocket full of rubbers. I got a pocket full of of rubbers. Said on the way over here. I'm just saying, man. The fact that you... All right! It's just great. No, no, no. Enough already! I'm not I told you so, and you don't be a (laughs) fucking bitch. I swear, dude. I swear, dude. I just need to get more dick. I mean, yeah. I need to get a dick in every city. You think you want different dicks? I don't know. I've been talking to dudes. Anytime I go to a city, I'll talk to dudes on Twitter and then not Twitter. (laughs) Yeah, it's pretty much we just (laughs) yell at each other about politics. We just have a thread going on about Joe Biden. 
I'll look at these dudes <laughs> and I'll kind of chat them up and then I just end up what's called ghosting because I get scared. They're going to want to make out and have sex. <laughs> that's scary. But that's what you want to do. Yeah, but I, I want to be over the initial scared part. I wonder if you should just like meet cats at shows like after the show. Like and, that are at the show? Yeah. Maybe not. I don't know. I mean, <clears throat> I would I would rather be organic like that, but you're busy and you, people don't know what, what you're really thinking. I don't know what you're thinking. And there's hot ass dudes that on t- Tinder that, that talk to me. And I'm like, <clears throat> and I put up every possible picture so they can see everything. You can see the whole body. You can see the, the face. <sighs> And somehow there's still hot guys that want to bang. Because you're fucking hot, bro. It doesn't make sense. I, I, again, I don't know. I, these are <laughs> things I've I've been telling you for years. You're a hot dude, man. You're fucking hot. There's this hot dude in uh, San Diego that um, the follows same me guy on Instagram now. Furiously hugged you. No, this is a different fella. Different San Diego fella. And he's hot as fuck. He, like, rides a motorcycle, and he messaged me on Instagram, when are you coming back? Because you're sexy as fuck. I'm like, am I logged into the right account here? (laughs) Oh, God. Am I logged into the I Love Cats account (laughs) that I have again? Good God. I just can't. I know. It's weird to me to. Yeah. It's crazy. Well, and it's crazy, too, because, like, I feel like as women were taught this, you know, we're, we're under the impression that we're supposed to be like the hot, we're supposed to be this thing. We're supposed to look this certain way and yada, yada, yada. Mm -hmm. And if you don't look like Uh that, yeah, then you ain't going to be getting nothing, you know? And I'm, I mean, I feel like I started coming into myself when I was a little older than normal because it was like for a while I literally was like I'm an ugly duckling in my life I, I just that's what I thought about myself for a very long time well don't do that it's it just part of sad. life I know it is sad but now I'm better for it now you're like I made it through oh dude now I'm riding that I can't wait to ride mm. I can't mm. wait till I get the back of my legs done and can ride Mm, yeah, my ankle's a little fucked up right now. So when I'm 69ing, I gotta really extend that whole leg. I can't be, I can't be sitting in grasshopper style. When we yeah. were 69, and and you know, I got stinky feet. So it's like there's a couple different things I need to really be working on. My big goals for this year are get rid of my stinky feet. <laughs> Do you have hyperhidrosis of the foot? Grow an ass. Yeah, I might. I, I'm going to be growing an ass. I'm actually started the starter for my ass at home. It's like about I'm, that time. You like got to get a little greenhouse. Like I'm making kombucha with my scoby. That's what they call it, a little scoby. It's like the starter yeast thing. So that's what I'm doing at home. There's two big <laughs> starters for your two bottom. Two big starters for my ass. Trying to get those well, I wish you luck. Going. Just make sure you don't uh, over water. My ass. Yeah. I've been oiling it up because I'm trying to get ready. I've been taking care of, better care of my skin. Like oh. I've okay. been, my psoriasis. That's what we finally figured out that this is. It's psoriasis. Is I told it you that, right? adult onset psoriasis? Black psoriasis. I've seen the commercials for it. And Everybody's know. seen the commercials. <laughs> Every, I'm telling you, there's a fucking comic. It does this bit about it. And it was the first time I ever got insecure about someone else's bit. Like people have done bits about herpes and I'm like, whatever. It's funny. Who cares? Everyone has it, you know? And then like fucking this girl's doing this bit about plaque psoriasis. And it, it's funny, you know? Who did it? Uh, new girl. Her name's Emily Zell. I talked about this with Rafe on like a couple episodes, but ago. But she has a bit basically. She's like, you know, I just see all these commercials for plaque psoriasis. And I'm like, do I have it? <laughs> <laughs> Do I and I was like, when she said that, I was kind of like, you know, it's actually not that big of a deal. <laughs> then you become that heckler that everybody hates. Yes. Nobody's talking to you, ma'am. Oh, God. That's well, like. Well, I'm, I'm glad to hear that you know what it is. Yeah. Uh, it's weird that it just started. I Well, I'll tell you about it later, but uh, 
It's probably something that I've always had. Autoimmune. Yeah, it's an autoimmune thing. They cause so much havoc in people's bodies. Your own body's fighting against you. That's exactly what it fucking is, dude. Oh, that's what autoimmune means, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I need to head out because I'm a not smart person. <laughs> so I'm going to be done with doing the podcast today. Okay. okay. Um, yeah, so it's like. Okay, so psoriasis can appear anywhere on the body, even on the eyelids, ears, lips, skin, folds, hands, feet, and nails. <laughs> Plaques can be a few small patches. Patches, blah, blah, blah. So that's basically what I got going on. But it's it's getting better and like manage a little more manageable. Why did they have to call it plaque, though? <laughs> Don't eat. Just I'm, call it spotted psoriasis. You know what? I mean, just what or layered psoriasis. Don't say plaque. <laughs> you hear the word plaque. You think of a dirty tooth. I think I'm going to the fucking pediatrician <laughs> dentist or whatever. And they're going to give me a fucking musical number about plaque. <laughs> It's going to be a little dinosaur flying in the sky holding a toothbrush. A giant toothbrush. Giant toothbrush. And a Biggest giant toothbrush mouth. you'll ever see. Yes. That's me brushing the teeth of a giant mouth. They did have uh, something like that at my dentist growing up when I was a kid. They had like and a toothbrush always... that was so big. I'm like, Dr. Parrish, that'll knock you out. Dr. Parrish, I'll never fit that in my mouth. I want to see if I can show you guys a picture of this cat. He was my child dentist and... <sighs> I had a couple like cavity things and the way they used to do it, they don't do shots when you're a kid like that. They do. They don't anymore? At least when I was a kid, they do happy gas, the nitrous oxide. Maybe they do nitrous oxide and then they do a shot when you're already high. But it's like, I'm telling you, bro, vivid dreams from this. And he would do the same thing every time. It's burned in my brain still. Like sometimes if I eat mushrooms and like I'm tripping or on (laughs) drugs, I'll think about him saying this. He'll be like, can you open really big? Just like that. And he would say it over and over again, but I'm high and I'm seven years old. So I'd be like, <laughs> oh God, it was horrific. Well, they, they gave me shots for cavities at, as a child and um, I screamed so much. They said, well, would, do you want us to drill without it? And I said, yes. And oh, then this- he died. Oh, RIP, Mr. Parrish. Dr. Parrish, RIP. He was a really nice man. He was always really, really nice. Oh, he died of cancer. Why do people have to die? That R. shit I. pisses me off. R.I.P. Dr. Parrish. He was very nice. He died in 2019, and he was born in 1943, and he was my dentist. My whole He did my braces. He was the man who gave me braces. Oh, it says his passion in life and mission was to provide children with dental care. He did. Oh, and he, such an impact because you remember him after oh. all these years. He was always so nice to me, and I got braces with him and everything, and he was just, like, always so perky and nice and fun, but that's the, he'd be like, all right, Christina, can you open really big? And I'd be like, really big, really big, really big, really big. I'm tripping. Really big, really big, really big. Maybe we should blame Mr. Parrish for your love of uh, psychotropics. (laughs) <laughs> no, I think we can blame all the sexual assault. Okay. Sorry, Mr. Parrish. Didn't nah, mean doc- to re- disrespect your... Don't, don't, don't you doctor disrespect I Dr. Just, Parrish. That was just a bit, Dr. Parrish. I would have loved him to be my... He looks so calm and kind. He was very nice. And he was like always super in shape and all that too. Like he was a sweet guy. He was a pediatric dentist in Overland Park for 50 years. I'm going to see if I can find my childhood dentist. Although he would say he never worked a day in his life because it was his passion and mission to provide children with dental care. Oh, well, he would. You know what? R.I.P. Dr. David Parrish, because you were a really nice guy and I'm sitting here fucking laughing my ass off (laughs) about those moments in my life. Can you open real big? Can you open really big? Really big. Oh, man. Well, RIP, brother. Sending you lots of love and light into the into the skies and heaven, hell, wherever you went. Cause maybe you know he's... that man went to heaven. No, he definitely went to heaven. What a good guy. Mm, can you open really big? <laughs> really big. <laughs> what an angel. Oh, God. It's just, I mean... And I remember him being ahead above me. It's like in my dreams because 
when you, you know, you're like seeing the world outside of you. It's not like I'm seeing myself laying in the little dentist chair. I'm seeing Dr. Parrish with his little eyeglasses on and the little microscopic <laughs> thing on top and the light. <laughs> Getting flavored bubble gum up in my mouth. God, I Fluoride. can't find my doctor. His name was Dr. Brian, I think. Oh, well, that's a comforting name. Brian from Game of Thrones. Oh. I'm going to ask my sister. What his name was? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, you know what? I've actually been really fortunate. I've had some good doctors, but not all of them. Uh, but the doctor that I had when um, I got diagnosed with hepatitis C, Dr. Richard Gilroy. Right. Dr. Richard Gear. Dr. Richard Gear. He was my hepatitis. He's a hepatologist, and he was an incredible doctor. And he was so kind to me because I'm like, oh, how old were you, bro? I was 16. Dude. I had to be in the pediatric ward because I was a minor, but I was coming off of heroin. <laughs> oh, God, that's so sad. And had hepatitis C. And they were like, what? They're, uh, everyone there, the nurses, everyone is like, they were trying to act normal when they would come in and talk to me. But I know when they walked out, they were all like, holy dude, that is a teenager. Oh, and she's here sad. feeling because of this, blah, blah, blah. But no, that doctor was a kick-ass dude, man. And you fought it. He was a good guy. Yeah, I got high for a little longer. Well, a lot longer, but that's okay. 17 years longer. 31 years later. In fact, I got high with one of the doctors. He uh, got the spoon out and did whatever you do. I uh, I got... Do you get to spoon out for heroin? Or yes. Is that something when else? you're shooting heroin, yes. What other ways? Let's not encourage. No. But what are the other ways? That you do? <laughs> not that I am looking as a <laughs> illicit drug user. Libby's now like asking everyone about drugs, <laughs> trying to get drugs. Because I just want to smoke. No, weed. you snort them. I I already told you about that though. You got. I think you. I'm serious, scared. Well, you got to start small. That's the problem, dude. And even think about like. Teenagers, when they start drinking, it's like they're curious. They want to experiment. It makes you feel like you're an adult. It's fun, you know, but they're kids. And I did this too, dude. I would go hard in the cut, bro. <laughs> I wasn't just like, oh, let's take a couple of sips. I was like, <laughs> fucking chugging vodka, doing this, that, and the other. And it's like, no, brother, you got to take it slow. You have to take Be a couple of sips of the vodka. Be kind to yourself. Let yourself adapt. Well, I'm okay with weed because it's legal. Yeah. In most places. You just take one puff and that's that. If I take that one puff, will my leg pain go away? That's what I want to know. What are you looking at, Randy? Uh-oh. Trouble in paradise. Oh, is it still typing it? <laughs> There's about a thousand cues minimum um i i don't know i think it will there's this old cat that comes into the bar who's got really bad hip pain and he does edibles and all that business for his hip and it helps him so my sister said you need a dentist and then sends me a screenshot of a, a, a local dentist <laughs> so she did not understand the assignment <laughs> Not even close. <laughs> you needed this and hurried. She hurried and looked up a local dentist for she, me. You need a dentist? She gives you <laughs> the night. She screenshots 911 and is like, call them. <laughs> oh, I can't believe how many cues are typed out there. Oh, it's a lot. Is it making a noise? Oh, it's stuck on the queue. <laughs> It's stuck Fun. on the queue. That's going to be the name of my new album. Here. Uh -oh. it, it was stuck on the queue. The queue keeps getting stuck. I'm stuck in a queue. I'm going to be honest. I'm stuck in a queue. Look at, Look at I got you. a few. Look at you. You came down a chimney flue. Next thing you know, I'm going to say boo. I'm going to scare you. God, I just couldn't be a rat. Like, I want to try. I know I get some sick rhymes going every now and then, and it's funny. But I'm like, you know, to just be an off-the-cuff rapper. Like, it's like, come on, hit, hit me with a line. I'm closing my eyes so I can really be in the moment. Just hit me 
Hit me with a word. Uh, pastor. Oh, I want some Al Pastor. Next thing you know, I'm knocking on your door because I got to shit my pants. Ooh, my butthole hurts. I've been eating too much green. Ranch. Her- <laughs> Why didn't you say ranch? I don't know because I'm not good at being in the moment with rapping. I will say that. It's though, just like improv. I think that you should close your eyes. No, it's not just like improv. I have to think of things that rhyme and it makes sense. Don't think of it. Let it flow. Okay, hold on. Give me another one. Give me a beat. Uh, gerbil. Can I get a suggestion of something food related? <laughs> just kidding. Avocado. <laughs> Ooh, it's plump. It's green. I like the way it seems that you are... <laughs> I gotta go. I gotta bear it. See, and that's the thing. You gotta like stay in the moment, and brother. I had that beat going for you. Yeah. Okay. One more. One more time. Randy, you throw it a word. I'm too busy doing a beat. Hold on. I'm thinking. Avocados in paradise. Boo. Avocados in paradise. Boo. Get on that jet. Dick out your leg. <laughs> <laughs> Lick out your leg. Lick out your leg. <laughs> you fucking moron. Uh, Lick out your leg. All right, let me give you one. Close your eyes so you can really be in the moment. Let me give okay. you a... Oh, wait, what's... Is that sis? She's still talking about Dr. Brian. Okay. Um. Okay, close your eyes. Get in the moment. Okay. Giving you a word. Grass. <laughs> grass. Hey, yo, I'm no ass. I like smoking grass. See, what's up with that? I'm going to smoke some pot. You said you can't smoke pot because you go to jail. I said, hey, it's legal now. It's legal now. None of these words rhyme. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Your face. I think it's because I closed my eyes. I'm going to go to jail. Oops, that's a lot of hail. <laughs> Next thing you know, my arms are in a pail. Because <laughs> my daddy cut them off. Wait, what? So they're they're just laying in a pail. I'm a quadriplegic now. Whoa. I, or, Hello. What, <laughs> whatever a legic is that doesn't have no arms, that's what I am. Well, that was rude to the people that have no arms and legs. How about you take a moment to apologize and think of your fellow friends. Fellow hey, friend. my fellow friends. I'm sorry that I said that. I got nervous because I'm not a rapper. I just started saying shit. It didn't make sense. Now I feel dumb, but my titties bouncing all the way to the West Coast. Oh, <laughs> West Coast, West Coast. They're, they don't even have any toast in the West Coast. But that was I, tight. Yeah, that was pretty good, except, yeah. Except everything. Except, like, all I think about is avocado <laughs> toast from the West Coast. Avocado toast. I do better if I'm singing it. Avocado toast. Tina only likes say avocado toast. But here's my thing with avocados. They're for millennials. And only people who think they're cool. No shade to you, Tina, but I don't like avocados. Thank you. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, I think you, you you've got it a lot more when you're. When but you're I better singing. get it when I have a rap battle with Reginald. I mean, you already got one part of the outfit ready. You got your meaty necklace. You're about ready to fucking. Do you have Reggie's number? Yeah. Can you call him right now? Yeah. He needs to know that I've challenged him to a rap battle. Yeah, I'll give him a call. It's a rap battle. It's a rap battle. It's a rap battle. It's a rap battle. Hello? What's up, Tina? Hi, Reggie. You're live on Slop City Podcast with Libby and I. Hey, y'all. What's going on, Slop City? Slopsters. Slop citizens. Slopsters. Well, we got uh, we got something we got to tell you, brother. And I'm going to let Libby do it because this is kind of a Libby thing, except I'm her hype man. Uh, just why don't you just spit it out, Libby? Oh, uh, she's been a rat. Uh-oh. Nope. <laughs> 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 you, 
Yesterday, we recorded another episode, and I couldn't get a hold of you, but I challenged you to a rap battle. So, do you accept or deny it? So, accept means I got a battle rap now? No. No, we're going to... It's so... We've got a couple venues in mind (laughs) of where we're going to do this rap battle. I am suggesting a self-serve car wash. On Kings Highway. On Kings Highway. The inside of one of those. That's one of the venues we're thinking. So we'll have two cameras <laughs> on each side of the car wash. It's going to be real. You know, it'll look kind of like like scummy, but badass. And, and, and all the equipment going to get wet. Yes. <laughs> I say, meet me there and you dead. Oh! <laughs> Damn! Damn, dude, he just fucking roasted your ass. I'm about to, I'm about to wash your ass. No <laughs> pun intended. <laughs> oh! <laughs> okay, I've already failed. Wow. Uh, Damn, dude. <laughs> I'm Let also. Me know if you need a ghostwriter, Libby, I can write you some good stuff about me. <laughs> oh yeah. no, we already started. I already gave her some fucking intel on you. So don't wow. even. Yeah, you're get, you're fucked. Before fuck, I dude. even accepted the battle. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've been doing fucking research on you, dude. We looked at your birth certificate. We looked at we <laughs> Also, go follow Reggie on Instagram. We were we played one of your cooking show clips yesterday on the episode. Oh, yeah, which one? The the stuffed chicken with broccoli and your Ooh. Xbox looking ass. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Sega Look. controller looking ass. Just make sure you bring your battle rapping head ass to the battle rap. <laughs> <laughs> and Tina, Tina, you say you say you gonna hype her up, Tina? Yeah, I'm her fucking hype man. I'm gonna be in the background, dude. I can do a back bend. I can do like a couple. Uh, I can do planks and stuff like that in the background. Well, I got. Well, 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 let me tell you something, Tina. I'm gonna have a hype man, and guess who my hype man gonna be? Who the fuck's gonna be your hype man? Rape. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Damn, dude. Shit. That's fucking dirty. You're going to take my man, who whom I fuck, and get him <laughs> on your side, and he's going to fuck me like that? That's exactly what I'm going to do. <laughs> Damn, dude. Well, you better look out, because he's a dirty motherfucker. That's exactly why I need him as my hype man. <laughs> I need somebody just as dirty as you. Oh! oh. Damn, dude. He this roasted shit, my hype man. This shit's going to be fucking good. I can't wait. So, yeah, those are the venues we have in mind. Maybe a gazebo in Forest Park, but <laughs> I'm where Libby was like, what about a nice gazebo? <laughs> <laughs> I think the self-serve hey. car wash is where it's at, though. That's what we should do. Let, let me ask you something, Libby. How many rounds you trying to do? It's typically three rounds or one round. What you want to do? Oh, I, I, I definitely want to do the standard three rounds. Absolutely. Hold up, you want to do three rounds? You want to do the standard like three rounds? What two, two to three minutes? Well, uh, I want to do the 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 least amount. So one one round, and hopefully I can sit down in a chair because I get tired when I stand up. Oh, we'll get you a rolly chair in the self serve car wash. <laughs> <laughs> Battle rap me while you sitting down. <laughs> yeah. That's like the ultimate fucking diss, dude. She's like, I don't have time to stand up. I'll just get me a lawn chair and sit down whenever I get fatigued. Yeah, I'll bring an igloo cooler with beverages for everyone in case they're thirsty. Yeah, definitely bring bring some water because, you know, just in case Libby, you know, she forget her bar, she could drink our water and play it off. <laughs> Is that a technique? That's act, that actually is a technique. <laughs> well, let me put that, jot that down in my notes. But everybody knows when you're choking, though, so it, 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 it don't really matter. But ha, have sometimes you, you can play it off. Have you ever choked during a rap battle? No. Uh-oh. <laughs> Fuck. God forbid. Damn. I'm not. I'm not scared though. That's the thing. Many people are sitting here thinking I'm scared. I'm not. <clears throat> really want a rap battle? I oh. thought this was a parody, but this sounds well, like a real. Well, no. Movie. This is. This came. This came from that because I was telling Tina about the video idea I had, and then I, I, I got, 
I don't know what happened to me, but all of a sudden I was like, I'm going to challenge him to a rap battle. And here we are. What's the etiquette on if you uh, if you want to uh, not do the rap battle? Say what? Let's say I chicken out. What happens? I have to go in as tribute. <laughs> yeah, you got Tina got to take your place. <laughs> <laughs> She's got to take my place and be in your face. I'm going to be in your space. And what else? That's it. That's all we got so far. Oh. <laughs> 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 well, it's, a, it's a start. You rhymed. We uh, did. We we probably spent 20 minutes rapping on the podcast yesterday. All of it was awful. Yeah, it was all bad. Oh, man. But I have well, a lot, I got a lot of studying to do before the official uh, date is announced. Don't don't come wet. I won't. Uh uh-uh. uh Promise. Don't you come whack either. We're coming Who's ready. What? Me come whack. Come on now. <laughs> <laughs> but uh despite all this rap battle uh stuff, we do truly love you. And uh, we want everybody on our podcast to go find you on Instagram, Reggie underscore Kush. Yeah, make, make sure they type it in verbatim because they got me shadow banned. They got me buried under the algorithm. Yeah, you, you got to find this man because you will laugh. You'll fall in love. And his profile picture, Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah, you're going to get immediately horny. <laughs> <laughs> Tina's stupid. <laughs> we we were looking at it yesterday, and we both had to take a moment just to touch our private areas for uh-huh. a few seconds. Ah, uh, yeah, man. That, yeah, huh? <laughs> <laughs> he said, "Yeah, what? Huh?" Uh, Rafe, uh, did you hear that, Rafe? Did Rafe's hear not that? here right now. It's bitch. Randy. Oh wow! You talk a lot of stuff over the phone, Tina. I can't wait till I see you. <laughs> <laughs> Me, I'm gonna choke and I'm gonna just end up crying. Same. <laughs> well, we love you, but, Reggie. I love y'all too. All hey, right, hey, honeys, hey. we'll talk to you later. We'll set up a date for the rap battle. <laughs> all right, and that's Kush with a K, people. You know what I'm saying? Reggie underscore Kush with a K. Slide in my DM if you horny like Tina and Livy. I love y'all. <laughs> love you. Bye. Bye. God, I love him. Dude, what a fucking... He's the best. He's just so funny. Love it. Well, yeah, look up. Everybody better be fucking ready for that because that's going to be sick as fuck, dude. And I know of a couple abandoned self-serve car spots. <laughs> I'm dead ass fucking serious. I don't serious. want it to be abandoned in case I do have to hose them off and things get too hot. Okay. I want to open up that clear clear finish. You're right. We probably finish him. Finish him. With the clear finish. I'm going to spray you... And this is the day you regret coming to my rap battle. It's never been so... <clears throat> you've never been so rattled. Uh-oh, you're a baby. Who needs a rattle? Uh-oh, <laughs> is that a pacifier? I can't believe that you're... <clears throat> pacifier. Pacifier. You need a binky for your little winky. Don't put your winky in your tinky, 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 two t t t t t. Boom, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So everybody, look out for that because we're a hundred percent gonna make that happen this year because it's it'll just be funny for the videos. I hope everybody imagine forgets. all of us hanging out in a self serve car wash, and I've got like a little igloo cooler and Reggie roasting the fuck out of me. Oh, it's gonna be great with my rap battle head with your rap battle head having ass, and he's gonna <laughs> roast me too. I'll just be sitting there doing nothing, making sure everyone's. Got water and they're they're nice and not <laughs> can you not can get a couple of can of cokes in there? Of course, I can't rap better without a can, oh no, can I, of coke. I'll have a wide spray. Uh, I don't a, put a array. hot can in there. No, have no, no. It transferred from the fridge to the igloo. Sure. Thanks. It's all gonna be it, you know. I'll get some charcuterie and some and some accoutrements. Accoutrements. I was about to say ango mantre and some accoutrements. Well, look forward to that, guys. Yep, look forward to that yeah. shit. Yeah. All right. We love y'all. Love y'all. Have a blessed day. See you next day. time. And cut. 
Marcy's <laughs> butthole. Yeah.